Greetings boys and girls, we're going to do another episode of Nobody Asked, but I'm going to tell you anyway. We are back from Florida now, so um, I'm just about getting over the old jet lag. So let's go through some of the stuff that we're doing at the minute. First thing, the dark has dropped off this RS3 wheel and airbag. Uh, the plastic trim on that is looking tired. That is no good. I'm not going to be able to save that. It's also been gifted these Urus paddles from a mysterious benefactor. So we're going to see if they fit or not. Um, I didn't know what model they're from. I think it's a B9, in which case probably not, but we'll find out in a second. The wheel itself getting stripped down. He'd like some gloss 12 carbon fiber top and bottom. Top and bottom, can't speak. Jet lag. Um, and a red top marker there. And he's undecided, but thinks he wants perforated leather on the sides. Now, something that you guys might be able to help him with. Doesn't know what to do with this silver. Doesn't want it silver anymore. Might have it carbon to match the wheel. Might want it painted black. So what do you guys think? Leave a comment or send us a message or whatever. Your preferred method. Um, but I think he'd like some advice on that. So let's help him out with that. Spoiler alert. I know without even taking the module off, they're not going to fit. These are the same pattern as the old TTs as well. It's quite a large surface area on there. So sorry, Doc, but... No chance, they're not going on. Um, I don't even think they do or as pedals for this model either. Uh, next up, Scott has been blowing up my DMs. I open them up thinking he's sending me his nudes and I'm disappointed to find that he has not. In fact, he is asking about the next thing that we're gonna look at. BMW M performance trims. Uh, the humble vent. BMW stopped doing the vent on their M performance trims. I've no idea why. So the good news is we're gonna do them ourselves along with some other stuff which I'm gonna show you in a second. Um, Scott's particularly interested in these, he's got the M performance set already, um, however, we've bought a load of these and the matte bit, uh, we, we trim in our guitar right up into the glass bit, so the matte bits on these have all got naturally occurring scratches, it's dead easy to do, look, I've just done it my fingernail there, um, but that's not a great finish for when they're being sent out. These have been done in Alcantara. I started to peel it off and I've put it back under so you can sort of see, but they all are afflicted with um, sort of scuffs on the matte plastic. So, um, waiting on some painting stuff so that I can do them indoors. I'm going to move the sewing machine over in the conservatory and set up a pop-up tent, a little desktop one. Once that's all arrived and set up, um, we'll strip this back, mask it off. Um, take this apart, do this one, do a couple of sets of vents and spray them in matte black, put a bit of lacquer on them just so they're more presentable. These are going to be done on a exchange basis as well. So obviously when people are sending them back, they're probably not going to be the best quality. But let's try and give you a bit of an idea as to what they're going to look like. Um, this one's even worse. I think Jodie got some glue on that one so that needs some more work. But here we have the open pour matte carbon fibre, um, I can't really put it on one handed, uh, hang on a sec. Okay, so this is just a quick bodge together of how it's gonna look, obviously without the manky plastic and without the gaps, because it will be bonded back on properly. I'm trying to hold the pressure on multiple areas. So we tidy up the uh, the plastic, redo the Alcantara and reattach this open pore. So I think they're gonna look cool. Um, but then again, I would say that, um, hopefully, uh, dead excited and if you're looking for these you're going to have to wait behind Scott because he's first um, He is well and truly buzzing for these so excited to get these done So again just waiting on some stuff to do some painting get rid of these marks and everything Redo the Alcantara and get all this back together good times Staying with the open pore dry carbon theme this um, is ready to go on the centerpiece We've done that in Alcantara same shade. It's in the other room and I can't bother to get it but um, I just prefer looking at this carbon, it's lovely. Beautiful. And now on to the last thing. I say last thing, last thing to do with the this BMW section at the minute, not overall for this video. It's going to carry on for a little while longer, so sorry to bore you. I've pulled the lights down a little bit more because the lighting doesn't look great. The video is coming up to dark, so I do apologise about that. I'm not sure what the crack is. It might be my camera phone. Okay, so the more open ports. So we're just going to mock this up and let me just stand up so you can see it so this is a one series center trim so we're going to have the open pore run along there that'll fit in there like that and then this bit is gloss black they come in different colors but let me show you what we're doing with that bit okay so we've got alcantara 9002 again and that is going to go 
over here. Let's just move that out of the way and it's going to get trimmed in this with the laser engraved, laser etched M Performance logo. Um, I can't get the lighting on this. It's a pain in the ass to get. Oh, that's a little bit better. So yeah, that's going to go on there. And then the open pore M Performance trim is going to go back on like that. It's hard to imagine like this. Um, so I'll show you once it's actually done, but we're really excited about that. Another complaint people had was that BMW don't do the M Performance center trim on its own. You have to buy the whole set, which is 700 pounds plus. Um, so we thought, well, why not just do it on its own? So stay tuned about uh, what we're going to be doing with that. Okay, the next bit's the iDrive surround in the center and the uh, AC panel control slash stereo surround and stuff. Did these in Alcantara, um, left the rollout for Jodie for her to do on the table, on top of everything, uh, so she couldn't miss it. Uh, but she did, and went in the other room and got the wrong shade, so we've had to pull that back off, and we've got to put the right one on there. Um, could also have these available in open pour. I think that's uh, already available as an option from DW, so Alcantara seems like a better option. So yeah, dead excited about these. Um, Hoping to have them, uh, the dash trim at least, done and photographed and available for the weekend. Vent trims, um, a little bit of a more of a wait while we wait for some painting stuff to arrive, just so I can paint a little dome indoors. Um, I usually do it outside, but it's October, so that's no good. Um, so yeah, let's move on to the next thing. Okay, swinging back around to Audi, uh, we've got Jack's wheel. So Jack's had a few things off us in the past. Thank you, pal. Um, and he's opted for a retrim on his Audi wheel. And he's gone for Alcantara airbag with white stitching to match the white. So it's got black smooth and perforated leather. Um, no badge. So if you have an 8V facelift or B9 wheel with an airbag, or you're just having the airbag retrim from us, and it's gloss black, yours is going to look like this as well. There is a delay in getting the gloss black badges. They're plastic. Um, they come in like a sprue, much better finish than painting them, but um, we've had a bit of a nightmare trying to get them. So um, just hold tight for those. Again, if you've got an airbag like this from us and it's got the uh, the gloss black badging on it, um, there is a delay. We are trying to get them as soon as possible. So just bear with us. Thank you very much. Okay, the final thing is the lovely Kerry's wheel. So she's been very patient with this one, but it's definitely worth it. Um, no badge in the bottom here. She's gone for um, something that we've recently found. Art has found it, who's part of the uh, Emporium Customs family. And it's like a black, a blacked out M Performance badge. So um, we're gonna stick one of those in there because it goes with the rest of the theme, which is all black Alcantara. She's gone for this sort of acid green stitching to match her car. Um, and then uh, 952 grey top marker which looks fantastic um, I really 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 like this wheel um, so you obviously got the gloss carbon fibre on the insert and then the matching 9002 black Alcantara once that blacked out badge goes in I think that is just going to look amazing so once that arrives um, next couple of days we're going to whack that in take some photos and get that out to Kerry as soon as possible um, so yeah that's it for now more things to follow see you later